good? Yeah. Okay, so our project is called The Whitman Mission. I will be playing one of the characters, Marcus Whitman. I will be the narrator and Reverend Spalman. I'm Marcus's wife and I kiss a Whitman. And I'll be playing a Native American. Marcus Whitman was born September 4th, 1802 in Rushville, New York. After his mother's death, he moved to Massachusetts to live with his uncle. During this time, his passion to minister grew but he did not have the financial means to become an official minister. He married his beloved wife, Narcissa Whitman, in 1836. After realizing his dreams in ministry were out the window, Marcus became a physician. He worked as a physician for two years before he grew tired of his mundane life. Marcus wanted to do something greater, something better, something special in his life. He decided to reach out to a trusted friend who he knew he Help. He turned to Reverend Spalding. Henry Spalding, I just read about the travels of Lewis and Clark across the country into the newly acquired Oregon territories. Work as a physician has been tough lately. It's boring and hard. I don't know, I feel like I'm called to do something more with my life, something special. I propose that we work together and start a missionary in the Oregon Territory to convert Native Americans. I don't know, I guess I'm asking you, will you join me in Travel West? Marcus, I don't know. And no one's ever done that before. It's gonna be, it's dangerous, it's risky. Setting up a mission in the West, I don't think it's quite practical right now. Please, I need you. Your background in ministry will be vital to the success of this mission. I, I, I can't do this without you. Will you please travel with us on this journey? My wife and I will accompany you on your journey. I think it's an exciting opportunity to have a missionary in the West, and I look forward to it. Thank you. Marcus Woodman and Reverend Spalding left their homes in New York on February 19, 1836. Their wives also accompanied them on this journey, as well as 11 others who were committed to the mission. They had one goal in mind, to travel West and start up a mission and make an impact as soon as possible. Although this was not a smooth journey, as traveling on wagons made it difficult, they had their they had their doubts but kept on going. In fact, not many people believed that they could venture on a journey like this. We've been traveling westward for many days and many nights by wagon. It is just myself, my wife Narcissa, Reverend Henry Spalding and his wife, and eleven other people that have promised to help us on with our mission. Morale is low. It's tough traveling on the Oregon Trail. But spreading the goodness of God motivates me on these cold winter nights. Yes, we need to keep moving through these difficult conditions. It's hard, but our mission is too important. We need to keep moving west and convert the Native Americans. Narcissa kept a detailed journey during their, during their travels west. This journal provided key details of the group's travels. Marcus and his, friends, and his friends arrived in Walla Walla, Washington in 1837. This successful travel west established the viability on, of traveling on the Oregon Trail. They created the Whitman Mission where they could spread God's word. Along with spreading Christianity, the group gave both farming and medical advice to the Native Americans. Well guys, we did it. We finally arrived in the Native Americans' western territory. Now it's time to start our mission. Let's set out and try to convert the Native Americans. Look, there's one right over there. Greetings, white people. Who are you and where are you from? Hello, my friend. My name is Marcus Woodman, and I traveled all the way from the East Coast of America to spread my religion. If you have a minute, I would love to talk to you about it. Not only have I come with my religion, but I also have some medical advice that I believe could help your Native American tribes out and save many lives. Interesting. I'd love to listen, and we'll take the supplies you have brought with gratitude. Well, that's awesome. We believe in something called Christianity, where there is one singular God who created the heavens, the earths, the forests, the mountains, the rivers, the streams, and everything. We believe that when a person dies, their body, their soul lives on forever to be with our God. Interesting. I think I understand it very well, and I'll tell my native brothers about it. Also, if you'd like to bring some of your sick and struggling people to our camp, we can help them out. 
Yes, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You got blessed. After two years into the mission, in 1838, Reverend Spalding and his wife left the women mission. They saw how successful it was and decided to travel back east to Idaho to set up another mission quite like the one in Walla Walla, Washington. I am sorry, Marcus, but my wife and I must go. Thank you so much, and I was glad to be a part of this mission. No, thank you, Henry Spalding. You have done so much for us. We cannot have gotten to the point where we're at now without you. Good luck on your travels. Thank you. The Women Mission was a success. Marcus and Arkissa fulfilled their goal by spreading Christianity to Walla Walla, Nez Pierce, and many other local Native groups. The relationship between the women and the Native Americans was strong. Marcus loved the Native Americans, and the Native Americans loved him back. During the mid-1840s, the Women Mission had to make a change, although. Increased travel on the Oregon Trail led to large amounts of people stopping at the Women Mission. Marcus used his degree as a physician to heal hurting people and restore their spirits. He gave them food, clothes, and allowed travelers to stay if they wished. However, this had a negative impact on the Native Americans in the area. I don't understand what has happened. Ever since those people arrived, they brought diseases, and many of our people have started to die. Are they trying to kill us? They must have lied to us about everything, and I know what I need to do to save my people. As more people traveled along the Oregon Trail, they also brought with them disease. These diseases did not affect the Native American. The Americans, however, they devastated the Native Americans. The natives lacked any immunity which was needed to survive. Cholera and measles killed hundreds of Native Americans. I, I hate to see the natives dying like this. I, I wish there was more that we could do to save them. I know, this is very bad. I don't know what to do. Oh look, one of the natives is approaching us. Hello, my friend. How are you today? Is there anything that you need from us? No, but nothing there is you can do for me, Marcus. You've brought, done way too much. You've brought diseases, and many of our people have started to die. Why have you done this? I'm sorry, but that wasn't us. This is the white people that have been traveling through our camp. You have got us sick. We did everything you asked. We converted your dumb religion and your waste of life. But for what? You just to betray us? You have to listen to us. This wasn't us. I'm done listening to you fools. I know what I need to do to save my people. What? What? No! Wait, no! Ugh. We should never have trusted these people. This brutal event became to be known as the Women Massacre, and it ended the Women Mission. Through this action, the natives showed a lack of intelligence that was used against them. They started the Cayuse War, which was an eight-year-long war between the Cayuse tribe and white American settlers in the West over the land. Although Marcus and his fellow missionaries died, they did start a movement. They were the first to travel West to teach Christianity and along the way broke barriers by spreading religion across America.